it's a first for the region a telescope where you can see well not quite to infinity and beyond but far enough to find some answers about where we are heading these telescopes are uh, a research telescope for astronomical purposes mm -hmm. and uh, we can observe for the, by these telescopes for a very uh, large distance in deep sky it's around uh, 26.3 million light years of uh, galaxies one light year is worth around 9.5 trillion kilometers more than enough to give you a closer view of the biggest names in the universe we can see all the uh, our solar system galaxies in the telescope and we can observe the uh, planets like uh, Jupiter, Saturn, and so on. So you can observe by this one. In Toto also offers a view you won't find anywhere else in Africa. Scientists tell you if you love viewing stars and especially the Orient's belt, this telescope is situated in one of the best places in the world. In Toto is helping fuel interest in astronomy among young Ethiopians and foreign visitors. And this observatory is not benefit only for Ethiopians, but it is for East Africans, because it's the only observatory exists here. My first impression was, was that, oh, Africa can make it. That was the first impression on my mind at that time. Yeah, and I begin to see how we can, con we can do ourselves everything was just a need of those kind of the Europeans. The facility cost $25 million, most of that funded by private donors, but its value could be priceless in years ahead, helping the country plan for climate-related problems. We believe that if Ethiopia had been started science program many years ago, it was possible to have a good capability to forecast and to protect such types of disasters. Ethiopia is planning to expand its space science program. Its next big step, an observatory in the historic northern town of Lalibela. Groomtala CCTV Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.